Hey everyone, you're back with your boy Graphic. Uh, we're going to be looking at the Destiny board. I know a lot of you guys are still kind of confused how the Destiny board works. And this board uh, can be somewhat confusing for new players. And once you understand it, it makes a lot of sense. And it becomes a lot easier to understand what you're doing and what, you know, what you should be looking at. So, right here in the beginning, we obviously have the Novice Adventure. This is basically you beat Tutorial Island. You get this, you get this spot right here. Alright, from here, you can go a couple different routes. So, right here we have the Trainee Fighter. Uh, we have the trainee farmer, we have the trainee gatherer, we have the trainee craftsman, and we have the journeyman adventure. The journeyman adventure, basically this adventure right here, uh, allows you to wear different kinds of capes and uh, bags and mounts. So, the tier you go up is the, obviously the higher tier you can use uh, mounts, capes, and bags wise. So, this goes up usually pretty quickly. Um, so, right here, actually, I'm all the way up to T8, so I'm able to wear anything... Uh, from T1 to or T2 to T8 um, bags and capes wise so that just goes up over time and you cannot use learning points to level this up faster and you don't want, you wouldn't really want to anyway so that's just fine um, but let's take a look at this left side over here we have the trainee fighter uh, the trainee fighter basically is the path to start looking at where you want to start putting your spec into so Let's say I'm running a staff or, or mage. I'm, I'm going to run a journeyman mage, right? So we can run a holy staff. We can run a tome of spells. We can run a frost staff. We can run a fire staff. We can run a curse staff. We can run a arcane staff. Let's say I'm running the curse staff like I've been. Um, so I have warlock to 85. Um, this is my warlock. So everything under the warlock, which is the artifact, cursed staff, combat specialist, which is the artifact is its own little category. So this actually contains the damnation staff. It contains the demonic staff and it contains the curse, cursed skull. Um, and it also contains the life curse staff. So these other three up here are completely separate. So these staffs take a little bit shorter amount of time to level up as the artifact, the artifact section of that weapon always takes longer to level up. As you can tell, this thing is at level 5 and it's 200,000. Uh, this thing at level, let's see here. Yeah, this thing at level 61, my Great Curse at level 61, only takes 340,000 all the way to complete the level. So at level 5, this thing almost takes more than this one at 61. Uh, to get this one to level 6 takes almost more than this one does at 61 to 62 is what I'm trying to say. So basically looking at this, it kind of shows you guys... Um, on every section, this is how it's going to look. Uh, there's going to be a a journeyman mage, and then it's going to go, or it's going to be like journeyman something, and journeyman something, journeyman something, and then it's going to show you where it splits off into all these different kinds of weapons, um, and it actually splits again into four. So right here, like I said, I am warlock is what I've been I've been going into, and there are four different weapon specs, and each time you level up it gives you a passive bonus so actually if you guys didn't know great cursed I have a 61 but by leveling up my artifact it'll actually help boost up my great curse damage as well because of this plus two or plus point two bonus to item power for all curse staffs so leveling these other than the great curse will also help my great cursed so that's why they are all separated under the warlock tab obviously this level also helps you equip better um, gear so I can equip uh, all the way up to T7 and I unlock this dark matter spell at level 70 so I'm pretty close to level 100 to get my T8 uh, warlock uh, but I'm not there yet so these other ones I haven't even touched yet but frost mage like I said it has four different kind of things so it has artifact it has glacial staff it has great frost and it has frost staff combat so they're all separated like that and I hope you guys understand what I just went through there I'm going to kind of run this pretty quickly for the people that know kind of the mid level of the destiny board they understand a little bit of it but they don't might not understand all of it so this is for them guys um, if you don't know anything about the destiny board uh, this might not be the video for you guys to watch it might be a little bit hard to understand what I'm talking about um, and now I'm gonna go over a little learning points I think most of you guys know about the learning points and how they work but let's say um, right here I have 271,000 XP out of the 297 XP I need to use five learning points to get this level and I'm actually going to use it here to show you guys how it works I 
I really, in reality, would never level up a uh, spec below up here. I would always level up the outer ring with the learning points instead of the one in front, as it, it just makes more sense. Um, so I will use my learning points there. But now I'm at 86, so I use five learning points. I have 104. You get 20 learning points each day if you are a premium member, and you only get five, uh, 10 learning points each day if you are a free-to-play member and you complete your challenges. And now we're going to take a look at the, uh, let's look over here at the cloth armor and everything like that. Um, it works pretty much the exact same, so I'm just going to go a quick run over it. Um, so right here we're going to look at the the leather jacket. It works the exact same. We're going to have the artifact jacket, which has, you know, three, I believe, um, jackets involved in the artifacts. I haven't used them or leveled them at all yet. Um, but when people are talking about spec, this is what they mean. This is why they say... Um, Sometimes they say out of uh, 500 or they say out of 400. This is what they're talking about. They Because all of these actually, like Artifact Jacket does help level your Assassin Jacket. It actually helps boost like your Assassin Jacket stats um, with that plus point two bonus for item power. So that is why some people go out of 400 or 500 when they're asking, you know, what's your spec at. But I usually do the basic, um, like if I was asked, uh, what is your Assassin Jacket? I would usually just say the 7638. And that's what I would say. Uh, I wouldn't actually add these in there. I know some people do. If they ask for it, there you go. And that's what you know. Now you know what to do. Sorry about that. And we're going to be looking at a lot of these. And they're they're pretty much all the same in, in the same aspect. So if you understand what I was talking about there, you're going to understand all of that. The farming kind of works the exact same, to be honest. it's it's has a few more crops um, than, you know, weapons. So they spread out a bit more with the mounts and the farming. But they pretty much work the exact same uh the gathering also works pretty much the exact same the gathering also works pretty much the exact same um it so like right here we have the journeyman's animal skinner right so we have the adept animal skinner and i have this to level one right so then i can already equip the tier four but if i leveled this up more it would get my gathering yield and uh plus item power per uh, level so this will help with level four skinning but obviously I'm gonna be working on level five and I have level five already uh, actually learned so I will be now looking to get my level six so I need to get to this learning point curve right here and either use my learning points or I need to go all the way across the bar to get my level six and I can start skinning level six so make sure you're not using your learning points on the uh levels after you have level one on that skinning don't use it to get level two or three or four or anything that's very huge waste you want to use it on the next tier if you're going to use it in the gathering field you want to make sure you're using it to get that level one um and then we have over here we have the journeyman tool maker which works pretty much the same way i haven't messed with any of the tools um to be honest but it does work pretty much the same way. So let's go over here to the Mage Tower Crafter. This, I believe, also works the same way. So yet again, we're going to be moving across to over here to the Hunter's Lodge Crafter. And it, these all really do work the same way. I guess what I would like to show you guys now is down here. Where is it at? Let's check it out. Let's zoom out. Here we go. Okay. So we have the Adventure. Um, this Adventure path right here, the Reaver. I guess this is the adventure path. I'm mixing it up real quick. This is the adventure path that gives you the capes and the mounts of higher tier as it goes up. And you just get that by doing any activities, as you can see here. Uh, you can see any requirements for what the next level is. Literally, it's just doing any activities. So this is very easy to get the adventure. The reaver, on the other hand, is also very easy. But um, you'll see that the passive damage is insane. So you actually need this damage to do any of those T8 creeps or T7 creeps. You need to make sure you're getting to that that reaver so grandmaster is t7 you need to make sure you're hitting this and making sure you're getting this before you attack anything t7 or you're gonna have a really rough time uh reaver just helps you kill things uh of that tier a lot faster and better um than you would without it so make sure you have that uh before you try to challenge creeps of any level higher than your reaver uh you'll have a really really rough time and that's pretty much the destiny board but i'm going to show you guys what this combat fame credits means I know a lot of you guys might not know what combat fame credits are, but you guys might know what learning points are. And I'm going to show you that with the combat fame credits, let's go over here to the, um, let's go, where should we go? Let's go to something I'm not really using right now. As I, if I'm not using it, unfortunately, I've already been taking stuff out of that area. 
so it's going to be hard to show that. But I think there'll be something that I really don't care about. The mercenary jacket's something I don't really use. So I'm going to use this real quick as an example. Uh, what you'll do here is if you have something leveled up that you don't think you'll ever use again or even anytime soon, you can click this uh, level 8 out of 100. And you'll actually see the mercenary jacket combat specialist. You'll see the respec. This is what respec is right here. Um, you'll be able to move this down. So if you want to lower your level in that, um, you'll actually lower it. Let's say I want it back to level one. I'm going to get 1,001 cre uh, combat fame credits, and I'll be able to reuse that elsewhere. So basically as a tome in a way, I'll be able to add that fame elsewhere. Um, but the one problem with that is this is the fame you're losing. So you're actually losing a lot more than you're gaining. Um, so it might not be worth it to you. As look at this I'm losing 500 K fame but I'm gaining 100 K fame to put wherever I want so respecting is not actually that amazing to do um, it is something you can do though if you're if you're wanting to get that level quick and you have no use for the other um, the other you know ability or jacket so I'm gonna actually keep I'll just keep seven levels and I'll just show you guys how this works with one level and so you will gain You'll lose one mastery level from your mercenary jack and combat specialist. This cost will be 9,212 silver. This also costs silver to do it, and it costs more per the amount of fame you're getting. So you will gain 24,000 combat fame. Do you want to proceed? And you put yes, and it'll lose that level, and you'll actually get the combat fame. So right now I have 135k combat fame. And let's say I wanted to put it into the great curse staff. I would go to this little level. I'd click this right here pop it out and my fame credits are right here so I can pop it open to get as many as I can out of this and I'm actually such at a high level to where I can't really uh, do this very well with what I have in the combat fame credits so right here it'll cost 38,000 to just get from here to here 61 to 62 um, it'll cost 38k but I actually couldn't even do another level yet because that's 213k fame and I only have 135k fame credits. So that is how that works. That's how respecking works. Um, that'll kind of show you uh, what respecking is. And that's just the pretty much the ex explanation of the Destiny board. I know a lot of you guys might have some comments in the YouTube uh, comments below. I know some of you guys might have more questions as I did. When I first started, I had a lot of questions about the Destiny board. The Destiny board is very, very complex. If you don't understand it, it's it's fine. You'll You'll start to understand it, and it'll start to make more sense. But it's really not a big deal, and you'll get used to it, and you'll actually, it's just, it allows you to do a lot and understand a lot more once you understand the Destiny board. So I hope this helped you guys out, um, and I hope you guys like today's video. This is just basically a brief explanation of kind of the Destiny board altogether. I tried to go through it quick, so some of you guys that know a little bit about the Destiny board but not a lot about the Destiny board, hopefully you guys were able to understand what I was talking about today. And... Let me know below if I did an okay job or if I should have went into a little bit more detail or maybe explained myself a little bit more. Um, I hope you guys like today's video, like I said, and I'll see you guys next time.